Right, so uh, this tutorial is only really for those who are doing the uh, Mexican restaurant project. So we're uh, just going to show you how to set up your tables in your database. So I'm presuming you've already created your database um, and you may well have already looked at the how to create tables tutorial. So hopefully you've got a reasonable idea of what's going on. What we're going to do is go to phpMyAdmin, which remember that's the interface that's been designed for the MySQL database. So click on that and it will pop up a new window. And go to your database. It'll be your username underscore whatever you call it, probably El Sombrero. And um, down the bottom you should be given this option of creating a new table. Now um, it's pretty important that we plan the tables and uh, how they're going to work. So uh, I'll just step out into Word and show you or yeah, walk you through what our tables are going to look like. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have two tables, one called courses, which is going to contain the names of all the different courses such as entrees, mains, desserts, chicken meals and all that sort of stuff. Um, and each one of those courses will have its own unique ID. So for example entrees might be one mains might be two, desserts might be three, and so on. Um, I've called the next thing C name rather than just having name, just to avoid, so it stands for course name, and I've just done that uh, to avoid confusion with the menu table, where I'm also going to have the name of each item on the menu, so I've called that M name. So uh, that's what those slightly strange looking things are. So my second table is called menu, that's going to contain all the items on the menu. Each one will have its own unique ID, and remember that's how you identify elements in a table. You refer to its ID number rather than its name, because there is a chance that some items could share the same name, whereas an ID is unique. Um, M name for its name. Um, I'll just skip that for the time being. Um, it has a description of the meal, the price, and the optional thing for those of you who really want to challenge is maybe having photos for some of them. Now. Uh, that's fairly challenging. Um, you're welcome to have a crack at it, but you don't need to put that one in. Um, now the one I skipped over was course ID. Now you'll notice that relates to um, the same name from the courses table. Yeah, there. So uh, what we've got here is I guess what you'd call a one to many relationship because there's one course and many menu items that could uh, belong to that course. So uh, each item, so for example, an, any entree will have a course ID of 1. Any of the mains will all have course IDs of 2, and so on. So that's how we link those two tables together. Right, so now that we've got that set up, we can go and uh, create these tables. The first one I'm going to create is courses that has two fields. So I'll just duck back into um, PHP my admin. Right, so we call that courses, and it has two fields. So I'll click on go and uh, here we are here. So first field we called course ID. Now that will be an integer because it's a number. Um, the length is the number of characters so you've got to think how many courses are you likely to have. Um, you may possibly have ten. It would be pretty impressive if you did. So uh, it's probably worth having two characters there just in case you go past nine and you need those two characters to get to ten or higher. Um, in terms of other changes you need to make, under index you will need to set that to primary because we want that course ID to be the primary um, key for all elements in that table and I do want to set it to auto increment because that means that if say that for example there are three courses in the uh, table and we add another one um, it will auto, the next one will automatically get an ID of 4, so we don't have to manage that. Um, the last one, well, the next field was um, C name, seems for course name. Now I'm going to use varchar for that, in other words, variable characters, so just some kind of text. And the length, um, again, it's just up to you how long you think a course name might be. I'm going to go no longer, I'm sure, than 20 characters. And that's all we need to do there. I'll just come down and save that table. Uh, you'll get a little message hopefully with a green tick telling you it's been created and a little bit of SQL code there which is the uh, language we're going to be running queries on this table with.
Now the next thing we need to do is create another table. So where am I going here? Um, at the top there, I'm just going to click back on my database and insert a new table. So I'm on the yeah, no, here we go, table. Um, so I'm going to call this one menu and totally forgotten how many fields there are. Hang on a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six fields. And there we go. Now the first one is menu ID. Again, integer. Um, could be quite a few menu items as this menu gets bigger and bigger. So I'm actually just going to have three characters, which means that if we hit 100 items, um, it would be able to cope with it. Now um, I have to scroll right all the way across here where it says index. And in the drop down, I'm just going to choose primary because I want this menu ID to be the primary key for all menu items. And again, set it to auto increment so that they automatically get a new ID. Next thing is M name, which is menu name. And I'm going to make that one Vachar again. And uh, menu items hopefully shouldn't be too long. Um, they might be a bit longer than the courses. I might put 50 characters just to be safe. Now, the next thing I had there was course ID. Now, this just links in with the course ID from the other table, which I believe had two characters. Now, next one was, better duck into Word just to double check, description. Um, and this is going to be a whole lot of text and numbers, so Vacha. Um, description could be reasonably long, about 500 characters. Maybe we get really wordy on it. And then we have price. Now price is actually going to be a little bit different. This one is going to be, I'm going to look down here, see if I can find it, decimal. And um, you've got to think again, how, plan ahead, how many digits are you expecting to have in any given price? Is there anything on your menu likely to cost more than $99? Uh, in my case, I'm going to say no. So I don't think I'll ever have anything more than four digits because that would have been um, two digits in the dollars column and two digits in the cents column. So there's my four digits in total, two of which will be after the decimal point. And the last thing was the photo. Now this is not a f the file, this is actually just the file name. Uh, the file will actually be uploaded and stored in a folder on the server. This really just refers to the name of that file. So because it's going to be texts, I'll go to Varcha. Um, and again, I'm never really sure how long it'll be, so I'll put 50 characters in. I'll go ahead and save that. There we go. So menu has been created. Everything seems to run OK. There's all our details, gives us a nice overview. Um, and that really is about how I'd expect you guys to set up your tables for the Mexican restaurant project. Good luck.